With well over 100 movies, several awards and recognitions in its kitty, one of Nigeria's longest standing actors, Kanayo Okanayo, says it is time for him to start training the next generation as he hopes to start a mentorship program. More on that in this next report. What is the problem? Eh? Why are you surveying her like a statue? Laura, who is Junior's father? My sister's husband is the father. I think I've told you that before. Were you telling me the truth? The truth and nothing but the truth. And what if I discover later who Chinaya's father is? What do I do to you? Elijah, why are you talking like a small boy? With over two decades' experience in filming, Anayo Modestus Onyekwere, popularly known as Kanayo O Kanayo, needs no introduction within the Nigerian film circle. A prominent frame in formative years of the movie boom in 1999, the Imo State-born actor took home the coveted African Movie Academy Prize for Best Actor in a leading role in 2006. How's your husband? He's fine. Please, I haven't got time to come and say welcome since you came home. But see how we were celebrating when we heard that you, you've been granted amnesty. Hey, thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Sister, life in prison is hell. The actor, whose credit call covers over a hundred movies, is set to take on a new challenge, mentoring young Nigerians. This, he says, is inspired by a desire to build a better society. The new Nigeria, the new Africa we want to build, we see the gap between 15-year-olds to 25-year-olds before they go to the university. If you begin to mentor and instruct and teach and coach the ones who are in secondary schools, they go with a new sense of direction that hard work pays. But if you're working hard but you don't have direction where you're going to, it's difficult to get to your destination. So we need young adults, youths and so on who have direction of what they want to study, what they want to be in life and be proud of who they are and the society where they are located. An old man pretends that he wants to scratch his bottle. Then he farts. What I'm telling you now is not the fact, but it will lead you to the truth. That little girl in your house, Chinenye, who is her father? Chinenye. My wife's sister's daughter. <laughs> when you get back home, sit your wife Dora down and ask her who is Chinenye's real father. Chinenye's real father. She's my wife's sister's daughter. Elisha, I've passed the information to you. Woman, come my house. He enter my room when I know. A lot of us who view or have put in about 25, 30 years in this job, we are not mentored. We were, by the grace of God, just operating, and God made us popular. None of us ever prepared of what we're getting today. If you ask me, when I said I acted in 1980 or 81, I just wanted to act, to appear on TV. Where it was going to take me to, I did not know. When it was going to fetch me money, I did not know. I just wanted to act. So there was no direction. But so what, we're not, what I'm trying to do now is, if you want to be an actor, we'll give you direction to be an actor. If you want to be a mass communicator, We'll tell you the involvement. We begin to educate younger ones. Because there are those whose parents actually push to read the disciplines, medicine, law, and so on. But that's not what they want. That's why you have somebody said, I read medicine. Okay? One of them was here today. But it's now a life coach. 
So we want to identify the real strengths of the young adults and make sure that they go through it and become the best in it. So the earlier the better. So my experience is that whatever we lost, our children should not lose it. In 2013, after a noticeable decline in the numbers of movies he appeared in, he returned in supporting role in the critically acclaimed Royal Arts Academy movie, Akbayi. You danced so beautifully yesterday. Thank you. And your costume, beautiful. It fits you so perfectly. Thank you. Maybe you could teach me a few dance steps sometime. I don't know a lot though. The, the little you know, I would like to learn. And maybe I could teach you a few other things. Ata. And what I would want to see is a professionally driven industry. An industry that's structured in a way to take care of the welfare of artists. Every practitioner must have not just a take home, but every practitioner must have his practice ensured. Every practitioner must have something that will leave a legacy for him. The rainy day will always come for every actor. The rainy day will always come for every actor. So that bill must be able to take care of the prospects and see that within those prospects that an actor does not beg food when he's getting old or when he's out of work. We must ensure that we have uh, an industry that's structured in a way that if you have put in many, many years, you don't need to think about where the next meal is going to come from. I mean, this thing is about putting food on the table, good way for Nigeria, and leaving a legacy of, not a legacy that you can pay your hospital bills, you can put food on the table. That's not the, the kind of bill we want introduced. We want uh, a welfare protected, we want an industry that's professionally driven, that you work and get what you're supposed to get. Although he's actively involved in other activities, he still won't entertain thought of retiring from acting. His aim is to make the industry greater than he met it before he passes on his legacy to the next generation. Beautiful girl.